uh, tale from the uh, Wild Willie and Janus archives. A long time ago, it was Christmas Eve, and upstairs, little Susie and Johnny were sleeping. Dreams of sugar plum fairies and Santa Claus dancing in their heads. Suddenly, Susie awoke. Johnny! Johnny! I, I hear somebody downstairs. There's a noise. Ah, uh, go to sleep, Susie. It's nothing. It's, wait a minute. It's Santa Claus. So both kids ran down the stairs, and halfway down the banister, they looked, and there were two men by the tree rustling through their Christmas presents. Johnny, that doesn't look like Santa to me. Doesn't look like Santa to me either, Susie. Let's go see who they are. So they both crept down the stairs and went up to the men. And the biggest man there, they tugged on his shirt. The man turned and looked and said, what are you kids doing here? You should be in bed. Uh, what are you doing here? And, and why are you going through all our presents? Uh, uh, well, I'm Santa Claus, and, and this is my elf. And, uh, we delivered a package here by mistake. It, it belongs to the kid that lives a few houses down. So um, uh, we were just trying to find it to uh, give it to the rightful person. Oh, and then Johnny said, oh, if you're Santa Claus, how come you're not dressed in red? Um, uh, oh, uh, your, your chimney is pretty dirty. And uh, going down it, I'd get my suit all, all sooty. And, and well, you know, Mrs. Claus, she just doesn't want to do any more cleaning up after me. And so we decided we'd leave our suits in the sleigh. Well, Susie looked at him and said, are the, are the reindeer in the sleigh on the roof? <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Uh, it's, um, uh, your roof is too weak. Uh, they're, they're out front. Oh, can we look? No. Nope. My reindeer don't like anyone looking at them. Oh, anyway, uh, we got to get going now. So you two just get back up to bed and we'll be leaving. And as the men started to walk out of the house, Susie said, wait a minute, don't leave. And she ran up the banister. She ran to her room. She opened her dresser drawer, dug deep inside, and pulled out a little box. And then she ran down the stairs and went up to the man who said he was Santa. Santa, every year you give Christmas gifts for so many little boys and girls. I want to give you a gift. Well, now, now, no, please, Santa, take it. She handed him the little box. He opened it, and there was a shiny silver dollar. Oh! Oh, I hope you like it, Santa. My daddy gave it to me, and he told me not to use it unless I had something really special to use it for. And meeting you is really special, so I want you to have it. Uh, well, I, I really can't, that, can't take this. And No, I want you to have it, Santa. Uh, okay, thank you. And, 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 and don't forget some cookies and, and, and milk on the table. Oh, okay. And now you two get up to bed now. It's getting late. It'll be Christmas morning before you know it. So as the men walked outside and start to get on their horses, the man who said he was Santa suddenly got off his horse, went through his saddlebag, and pulled out a shiny, brand new $20 gold piece, opened the little box, and put the gold piece inside the box. Hey, what are you doing? Why are you putting that uh, gold piece in the box for? And the man who said he was Santa looked at his friend and said, You know, tonight I learned what the true meaning of Christmas is. Come on.
let's hurry on and get on home after I put this little box next to the cookies and milk. And that's another wild, willy story. Hope you liked it.